four up and two down, and Khan five and one, having been knocked out by Andrew Consul in his last fight, his first loss. So let's get to it. And to meet these two, as you look at Carrera, here's Michael Buffer. Michael? And now, ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for four rounds, and it's in the junior middleweight division. Referee for this contest is Rudy Battle. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks, weighing 156 and one half pounds. From Port Chester, New York, he's four, oh, two, and two water. as a professional. Introducing Gary, water. the black Italian Carriero. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the solid black trunks, weighing in at 156 and one half pounds also. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, West Philly to be exact, five and one as a pro with three KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick, the Rat of Khan. Okay, gentlemen, I expect a clean break at all times. When I tell you to break, I want you both to step out. No hitting on the break. Let's have a nice, clean fight. Good luck to both of you. Let's touch gloves. So here's a look at Patrick Kahn. Lost, as we mentioned, by way of knockout to Andrew Council the last time out back on March 27th in Atlantic City on one of our top-ranked cards. And Gary Carrero also on the top-ranked card when we were at the Foxwood Indian Reservation up in Connecticut. He defeated Brian Barbosa in his last fight. Four rounds. Black trunks, Carrero in the white. Left hand by Khan. And he has a good left hook. We saw it in this fight with Curtis Peoples. He can get that punch in. He goes after you. A very short left hand that caught Carrero on the way in. lost that last spot to Andrew Council in, uh, in Atlantic City, knocked out in the second round, a shock to him. Though the people's fight was a close fight. He goes after you, he does time. And that could lead to things like a second round knockout against you. Yeah, I remember that knockout came out of the blue. crowd here at the Blue Horizon really appreciates an action fight. It's a knowledgeable fight crowd. Really is a, a wonderful atmosphere for boxing here. And the crowd is a pleasant crowd that is a, a very eclectic mix of all kinds of people. Very effective first round so far for Patrick Kahn. He, Patrick tends to slap a little bit with that left hook, and that's uh, one of the reasons why uh, he's not hurting uh, Guerrero with that punch uh, more than he is. of the first round and little to note except for a good left hand by Patrick Kahn. Good round for him. We start the second round. Carrera, white trunks, Patrick Kahn in the black trunks. Good first round for Kahn. Take a look at the numbers from the first round and Kahn, as you can see, much more effective and busier and that's going to win you a lot of rounds. 
nice left hand again by Khan, getting Carrero bouncing off the ropes. He is keeping Carrero really back on his heels, not letting him get off uh, offensively, get his combination slow. Reminder that still to come, our main event, Rodney Moore, Ramon Zavala. Rodney Moore, an exciting young fighter, just waiting for a chance. He is very seldom in a boring bout. And Zavala is a guy that comes to you, has told us he wants to score a knockout. He has lost a lot of close decisions in the enemy territory, and so he doesn't want to leave anything to chance. There's a good right hand by Khan, and that hurt Carrera. Well, the hook hasn't done the job, even though it's landed to hurt him, so... And Khan is a much better right-handed puncher than he is a hook hooker. And there you see how the hook slaps for Khan. May not need it, though. Caught it with another right hand. Yeah, the right hand much better for Khan. Wild right hand this is by Khan, and he almost got nailed with the left hook in the process. Khan fighting a much more up tempo fight than he usually does. And he really is taking it to uh, Guerrero. guys are 24 years old try, trying to gain some valuable experience. hard time getting any of his punches in. He's not been able to find anything that consistently works for him. When they look at this tape, Patrick Conn and his people will really be distressed with the way he's throwing that left hook, though, Barry. He just isn't getting his, his uh, leverage into it. And your point's well taken. He does really tend to slap with it. With the right hand, he gets a lot on. And two. Here is, in the last round, the overhand right getting there by... Um, Patrick Kahn as he lands the overhand right and pushes him back with a couple combinations. Through the first two rounds, you can see Patrick Kahn has really done a dance on Carrero. Yeah, and uh, the, the, the percentage he's landing has gone down a little bit, but, um, but nevertheless, he's still landing effectively. Putting enough pressure on him, too, to take Carrero's game away from him. Carrero just has not been able to get on track, as you mentioned. Yeah, and uh, Khan has kept him back, moving back, which has kept him from really doing what he wants to do. seems to be a little bit tired as well. Yeah, he is, uh, he's not throwing with much leverage, but then neither is Khan for that matter. There's Carrero coming up the middle. Now, Barry, what he has not been able to do is land the right hand behind the jab, Carrero. When he's tried it, throwing more than one punch at a time, it's been effective, but he hasn't been consistent enough with that combination. He doesn't seem to set on his punches either. As you mentioned earlier, he always, always seems to be on his heels. He got nailed with a good right. He got turned around and then nailed with a good right. And Patrick Kahn might do well to concentrate more on landing that right hand, put himself in position to throw that punch, instead of relying on the left hook, because he knows he's not throwing it with a, a huge amount of power. Here. Starting to get a little bit restless, I think, with the performance of Gary Carrera. 
Well, you know, here at the Blue Horizon, if you have two minutes that aren't simulating, they get a little distressed. Yeah, they take no prisoners here at the Blue Horizon. One action from the beginning, and mostly they get it, so. has been less than stimulating. Into the corner of Patrick Kahn. Nice round, Pat. Go out. Give all you got. I want to knock him out. He wasn't quick. off the road. Put your arm to you. Basically, a pep talk. Give it all you got. Give me some things, there. Okay. Listen, he wants to quit, man. He's going to stay there and put the punch, man. Both hands, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What a nine. reminder that Saturday. Yeah, well, it's because I have no shame. <laughs> Fourth and final round now, and Patrick Kahn, who seemingly has this fight in hand. See how he plays this fourth round. Yeah, and you know, you raise an interesting point. Do you, if you're Patrick Kahn, do you, do you go after this? Do you really attempt to... Um, to, to put this in the bank in such a way that it's 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 a dramatic win for you, or do you just get your win, you know, work on getting your W? Well, well one oh, hand. Wow, question. Yeah, he sure answered it. And I got a standing eight here, and actually that's going to be a big break for Carrera. So that one should have been a knockdown anyway, because the ropes were holding him up. I think he doesn't have much. No. See if Rudy Batten lets it go. He'll only get it go a little bit here. Yeah. I think Carrero is hurt. Still out of it. And look at Rudy Battle. That's it. One, that one right hand. That's it. Well stopped by Rudy Battle. Good job of refereeing by Battle. And we got an answer early to your question, didn't we? That's one rhetorical question we got an answer to right away. Yeah, that's the true. Answer something for that anyway. That was a very good right hand. Also substantiated what you had been saying that his right hand clearly is best weapon. You will see it here. An overhand lead right. Didn't even bother to set it up with the jab. And ooh, Carrero really wobbled. He continued to punch. Rudy Battle was trying to separate the two, and he was punching away. But finally did get out of there. One more punch, and Rudy Battle might have uh, disqualified him or taken a point away. There you see it from another angle, right on the point of the chin. And you can't, you can't land a right hand much better than that. Very clean, and it did the job. And let's get to Michael Buffer now for the official word. Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Rudy Battle steps in and stops it out. 48 seconds into the fourth round, the winner by TKO is record now. Six and one with four KOs, Patrick Rathov Khan. So Patrick Kahn puts an exclamation point at the end of what was going to be a win anyway, but he puts a flourish on it, finishes it with a knockout. Ringside Report after this.